Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing one of two brand new foundations from Dior. This is the Dior Forever 24 Wear High Perfection Skin Caring Foundation with Sunscreen. When I first saw this bottle, I was like, you know, I didn't even pay any attention to it because I thought that they were just replacing the packaging and stuff. I think Becca did this once for their regular forever foundation, but it's not. They're two different foundations. I've done my research. I've used this one before, and so I bought this one. I've been trying it out, testing it out. I have an 11 hour wear. <laughs> I tried to go longer, but mama was tired, so that will be in this as well. But I've been testing this, and I've worn it with different primers, and in the 11 hour wear test, I was wearing nothing. So first, I'm going to give you guys the details about this foundation, and then compare the differences between the original and if you're wondering about the radiant version of this yes I am trying that one out too so give me some time and you will have a review on that one as well but let's start off with this one the price is $52 and you're getting a full fluid ounce Dior takes 24 hour complexion perfection to the next level with forever with Dior's iconic long wearing foundation formula the complexion appears flawless and even and the pores tightened from morning to night. The fluid foundation instantly enhances the appearance of the skin and improves its quality day after day with a formula enriched in meticulously selected skincare ingredients to reveal the skin's full sensuality. Dior Forever creates a flawless velvety matte finish on the skin and is also available in a skin glow format for glowing radiant finish. That's the foundation that I am going to review next. It is a medium to full coverage foundation and it lasts for 24 hours. It's a velvety matte texture without that mask like effect and it has broad spectrum 35. Now I'm going to go ahead and compare it to the original. All right, so for the original Forever Perfect Makeup Everlasting Wear Pore Refining Effect with Sunscreen, this one has a 35 SPF just like the new one. This old one is 16 hour wear where this new one is 24 hour wear 24 shades and the new one has 36 shades both of them claim to have some kind of pore refining effects both are said to be for all skin types both of them claim to have skincare ingredients while they both also have alcohol in them so I just want to make sure you guys know that the original one has a claim to control shine whereas this one does not this one I think it's leaning more on the matte but a more comfortable matte type of feel. If you ask me, I feel like this one, the texture of it is almost like these two combined. So this is the backstage foundation and the great thing about this one is it's long wearing. I think this is 24 hours as well and it's $40 and you're getting 1.6 yeah, 50 milliliters, 1.6 fluid ounces, but I feel like the texture of this new one is like these two combined. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys me applying this to my skin. I'm using my L'Oreal sponge, and I do wanna mention that I am wearing the By Terry Brightening CC Serum. I found that that's the best way that I like this. In the wear test, like I said, I'm wearing nothing on the outer perimeter, but today I am wearing this, and I feel like it just makes it just a little bit more luminous. So it is a matte, but it's a comfortable matte whenever I'm applying it, it feels, I wouldn't even say satin, I would say right in between. So not satin, but not like dry matte. I have time to work with it. I can move it around my face fairly easily, no issues at all. And you can see what it looks like up close before I finish off my makeup. And then here is what it looks like when my makeup is completely done. It looks beautiful before it's set. I feel like the finish of it is very nice, but then after it's set, I just think it looks perfected. It looks like your skin is absolutely perfected and it looks like velvet. It's so pretty on the skin and I don't feel like it's heavy or anything like that. So I wanna go ahead and also get into the 11 hour wear test where I did this the other day. So I started off because you guys have already seen what it looks like fresh for the three hour mark. And at this time, my skin looks perfect. 
like it's perfect, it's smooth, my pores look amazing. The bottom part of my cheeks, again, no primer, is a little bit dry, but not, not a lot. I'm not even sure if you can see it on camera, but it still feels weightless. That dry feeling I had here the other day with no primer, I don't have while I'm wearing this. Like I don't feel like I have any kind of texture or dryness in this area today. So let's move on to the six hour mark. I think it looks more skin-like, but still matte. Pores still look great. Nothing has really made a big change. I'm like, surely this is going to do something, but no, <laughs> it still looks the same. And then I got caught up around the house. I did a workout and I don't, I don't sweat a lot or anything like that with my workout. So I want to keep that in mind. But at 11 hours, little, I mean, little has changed. It's smooth. I got just a little bit more of my natural oils coming through, but still like not shiny at all had some wear around my nose and the top of my lip that's the worst thing for me with a matte foundation is right here on my lip where it starts to look slightly cakey and that did happen but it wasn't anything major like I would have left the house and felt fine about it but that did happen around my mouth started to feel a little bit dry but it never did like that crepey dry kind of look around my mouth it just felt that way. Now I'm not sure if you can tell or not because I use natural light and obviously 11 hours the sun behind me is going to change. It was a cloudy day anyway so it stayed pretty consistent but it did oxidize a little bit and I find that to be true with most of Dior's foundations. I didn't find it to oxidize as badly as this one, the Forever the Original. And on the box of the one I got, I got shade 1.5 which would be neutral, which before was 15. I could wear the 10 in the original Forever because of how much it oxidized. I think this is the perfect shade for me after everything is said and done for winter. Like 1.5 is perfection. I'm getting all mixed up. Like <laughs> there it is. I got the 2N in the Radiant version just so that I could see the difference, but I'm liking this so far. Honestly, I think this looks beautiful. I think that it wears amazingly well. If you are looking for a matte foundation that doesn't feel heavy, that lasts really well, that's not going to make you look cakey, and it's not thick, this is going to be great for you. I don't really see this working out for dry skin types unless you really prep your skin. I think that if you have any kind of flaking or dry spots, I don't think you're going to like this foundation because at the end of the day, it is a pretty matte foundation, but I do think it's gorgeous. I am combination and my skin is pretty normal right now. So again, I like it best with this. The silk canvas makes it just a little bit more smooth, but it doesn't really combat that dryness that I can get right down here, whereas this one does. Um, oily people, I think that you're going to love this. This lasted so well. Like, I never got shiny on my pores. I could not believe it. Like, it's just, it stayed perfectly. Um, even my chin, I usually will start breaking through right here a little bit, and nothing happened like that. So if you're oily, combo, normal, I think that you will really enjoy this foundation. All right, you guys, that is it. Let me know if you have any questions down below, and I will do my best to help you out. And then keep a lookout if you are looking for the Radiant version of this because I will be doing that one as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.